Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? My name is Tyrest and welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be reacting to no McDonald dirty Johnny jokes. So without any delays, let's get to it. Here we go. Come on now. Okay. Well I can tell a joke. Go for it. Yeah, this please is, do. This is what please. We're yeah. There was a fella, a little boy in school named Dirty Johnny. Now he's not dirty in this joke. But uh, he'd always said the uh, hellion in class, and the teacher didn't think much of him. So the teacher has a project, or a, not a project, but an in-class thing. And did it go again? <coughs> says, oh, I said, she says, now, this is what you're going to do here, class. I want you to stand up. <laughs> I want you to stand up and uh, tell the class what uh, a story from your life. And then afterwards, say, the moral to that story. So a girl puts up her hand, yes, Becky, what's your story? So Becky stands up, she goes, my dad works for the hatchery here in town. And uh, what happens was he got about 15 eggs and he put them all in one basket, all the same basket. Yeah. So he put all his eggs in one basket. And he put it on the horse and buggy and drove back home. And by God, uh, the, Becky says, the bouncing and all the eggs broke. Well, that's a good story, the teacher says, but what would the moral be to that? Becky says, well, the moral is, don't put all your eggs in the one basket. Yeah. But God damn, says the teacher, that's a good one. <laughs> Anybody else? Marjorie puts up her hand. Marjorie, what's your story? She says, well, my dad works for the hatchery, as most all of us. Thank God for the hatchery. <laughs> she says that we'd all be lost. But anyways, uh, my dad knows that uh, eggs become chickens. And so uh, he was uh, uh, counting his chickens, and he added in the eggs, you see. And then he put them on a horse and buggy to go to town, and they all bro broke. Well, what's the lesson to that, the teacher says. She can't understand. And uh, she says, well, don't count your chickens before they hatch out of an egg. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the teacher says, that's a great one, too. Anybody else? Well, wouldn't you know Dirty Johnny has his hand up? So the teacher's like, holy God. I, I am so... <laughs> excited right now because I know something big I don't want me. it but on the other hand I made an oath to every child should I suppose I got a all right dirty Johnny what do you have to say Johnny stands up stories about my uncle Terry he don't, never worked at the hatchery on account he was in Vietnam and he got disability you don't even like people work at the hatchery. But the story happened far from these shores, in a little town called Da Nang. Terry was not well liked. His whole troop left him, abandoned. And he woke up in the weeds, and all they left him with was three bottles of Jack Daniels, some weapons. Terry stood up, down one bottle right away, said, if I'm going out, I'm going out. He took his <coughs> Balishnikov and a couple of Glocks and a, his two bottles, and away he went. He found a town, and uh, he didn't know if it was Charlie or, or if it was one he was sent to protect. But all he knew was he had hate in his gut. So he uh, started firing, <laughs> and he fired the Kalishnikov with an arcing kind of, like a farmer would with hay, with a scythe. And sure enough, the men fell like hay before him. And then the women, and by God, I'm ashamed to say it, but then the children. <laughs> and finally, all was left was Uncle Terry standing in the mud and the blood and the glory. And uh, he touched his pants, and he, there was a 
it was wet, and he said he was ashamed. He felt shame, Uncle Terry, for he'd uh, pissed himself. Well, he touched it again. It was not urine at all, but ejaculate. <laughs> and Uncle Terry felt pride where shame once was. And the teacher's like, good Christ, what kind of a story is that? What the hell is the moral to that? Well, he says, uh, when uh, Uncle Terry's been drinking, you don't fuck with him. Our <laughs> time <laughs> fresh. That was No McDonald's uh, Dirty Johnny Joke. And that was a long joke. But I was <laughs> so excited. I was like, we can't, couldn't wait to see what the story going to be. And <laughs> at the ending is so fucked up. Like... Oh, the whole joke, the way he, uh, oh my god, back his story perfectly makes sense, don't put all the eggs in the same basket, and then whatever the second girl name was, uh, her uh, joke was don't count your uh, chickens before they hatch, which obviously makes sense, and then <laughs> Dirty Johnny's story is don't fuck with Uncle Terry. <laughs> <laughs> when he's what is if uh, when he's drinking, which is it's a fucked up joke, and the moral of the story is don't fuck with it. When he's drinking, that's that's the whole joke. Like, like five minute fucking long joke, man, to come up with that. <laughs> Only Norm could fucking tell a story like this and make it funny. Like, oh my god, it was. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, anything Norm say, it just put a smile on my face, man. I can't, even if it is the most, uh, like, fucked up thing on the on the world, if Norm said it, it will gonna, it's going to make me smile, man. I can't help it. Uh, that's how much I love Norm, man. He's just, he's just so brilliant, man. I really did enjoy that. And check out my other Norm videos. I've made a playlist for uh, Norm McDonald. So check it out. And like, subscribe, share, and leave a comment. And I'll see you guys next time.